Okay, Tina will demonstrate how to put on the bands properly. She's using the armbands and she takes the connector tube and clicks it into the connector. Then she takes a red tab and goes through. These bands can be placed upwards, downwards, left side or right side, it doesn't matter. On one side, Tina pulled the band inwards toward her body or you can actually put the bands on as you pull outwards towards your body. And always we're looking for a one finger tightness. So you can put one finger in between the skin and the bands, but not two or more fingers. Tina will demonstrate now how to put on the leg bands. Step one is actually connect the tubes to the band. Hear the click. And then as you're seated, put the bands on because the leg is much, uh, it, leg should be relaxed when you're putting on the bands. Again, you can put on as you're seated, put it high up in the groin, grab the buckle and then pull firmly. So there is one finger tightness. Great. Tina will demonstrate now various exercises that you can do for your lower back. So first she puts her booty on the tip of the chair so she's not sitting on the bands. And the simple exercises are toe curls, just repeatedly curling your toes, toe raises, then heel raises. You can also do ankle rotations. And then the last and most important exercises are actually stretching your hamstring, where you can stand up and just hang, stretching your hamstring. What's also very good is if you actually use a, a book or maybe a, a ankle or Achilles heel stretcher and just sort of put your toes at an elevated position and then also try to stretch your hamstrings as best you can. And you can do walking and hopefully any kind of stretching and other things that Robin would recommend. Thank you very much. Good luck.